holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to the Lord that on these his servants, now married in Christ, he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace and make of one heart in love, by the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, those he has joined by a holy covenant. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church, O God, by whom woman is joined to man and the companionship they had in the beginning, is endowed with the one blessing not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit, and pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter, Caitlin, and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her, so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, May these, your servants, hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children. And grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
on your stage. We told a spectacle, misery, no peace. On your stage, we told a spectacle, misery, no peace. On your stage. We told his back at Tamundi, don't I know his part Ready for my girl, you can see the 